<laughs> the Ghana Premier League. Kotoko won the title uh, in midweek, uh, of course. Uh, the uh, incredible Pocket Pan Warriors, they were in superb form, uh, claiming uh, the one point in midweek uh, to give them the title. They did that with three games to spare. And they were in action again uh, this particular uh, weekend. Uh, the midweek game was against Ashkoi, and then the one or draw. They're backing Accra. They took on Greater Olympics, and they won by one goal to nil. And if that man again, their talisman, uh, is setting uh, Frank Etuga with his 21st goal of the season, giving them all three points. They break them, Chelsea. And Hagan Frimpong gets us going here in Accra. It's Accra Lions and break them, Chelsea. Here is Awuni. Good ball. Can they get the first goal? Good ball to Kelvin Obin. Obin turns, sets up Collins Amiel, and he's missed. Ibrahim Issa's cross, that's the header, and that's the opening goal. Oh, brilliant. Remember, Aduma Kubuatin puts Accra Lions ahead. As the ball comes into the box, it's a lit run into that side, into the near side where he arrives and powers the ball. And that's the whistle to end the first half. It's half time. Accra Lions won. Brookham Chelsea nil. Who are on the move to staying in the Premier League? Collins Amiel sends the cross in. Obin's header. Collins Amiel's cross. Obin's header onto the roof of the net. Abu Bakar wins the ball off Jackson. Puts one through for Bassett. He's up against Enzo. Good skill. Here is Rashid. Rashid is unable to score. It's Issa who finds Bassett. Beautiful play. He goes past two Chelsea players. That's what to get to. Hagan, Frimpon, who is looking for space. Hagan shoots. What a beauty. Magnificent finish. Oh my goodness. What a goal. Dipping in the point where the goalkeeper can't, can't reach it because of the position in which he is. It doesn't take any deflection. It's just a brilliant strike from Hagan from Paul. It's Amu Mensa who also fouls Mohamed Al Hassan for a free kick yeah. to Chelsea. Amu yeah. Mensa gets a red card. It's a red card. It is. It is. It is. They go again. Will this be the icing on the kick? All right, not the best of shots there, but they got the win anyway, uh, Lions, and they are in no danger whatsoever of being relegated. We'll show you the table in a bit, uh, but Lions have had a good debut season. Uh, Kotoko came to Accra and conquered Great Olympics, thanks to Frank Etuga. Imoro goes for the shot pass, looking for Nete down the right. Nete turns around. Sandro, he sends a cross in, and Ismaila grabs good goalkeeping from the Olympics shot stopper. Here is Sandro Jr., the Liberian. He finds Ashikwe. He wants to shoot. And his effort has gone over the bar for a goal kick. Yeah. Abekwe, that's what to find Sule. Now his brother Ashikwe. Abekwe! Good save from Kwame Ba. It's a corner. As good as they would have wanted. Some, some slipping and losing their footing. Oh, beautiful skill from Embella to go past Kasim. Here is Etuga. Nope. Beautiful skill, sends a cross in, Kwame Ba. Brave goalkeeping, but it would be Gripman. It is Gripman! Good save, Kwame Ba. Well taken free kick from Gripman. Etuga and Ferge. Etuga, Boateng, Boateng! Straight to Ismaila. The best pass of the play we've seen all game. That's the whistle for the end of the first half here at the Accra Sports Stadium. The champions are Santiago Toko in the capital against Great Olympics, who are pushing and chasing for a top four finish. It's Kasim who sends a long one inside. It goes straight to Kwame Ba. Buedu. Imora's lost possession to Ashikwe. Abikwe back to his brother Ashikwe. Cuts the ball back. Good. Goalkeeping from Kwame Ba. In our years, next day again. Good ball to Imoro. Etuga. Etuga! Goal number 
21 for the Cameroonian. Has some real quality on it. The Porcupines have jumped into the lead in the capital against Great Olympics. The Olympics, Neil Kotoko won. Special. Just, that's special. It, it's, it's, it's short of words. Really short of words. Imori with another assist. He, he will claim that assist. But the two go on the turn and get the shot away. Into the corner where the goalkeeper can't reach it. And, and, and credit to Imori because once he lays that pass off, he's making a round that takes the defender away. Two down the time to turn and finishes it off magnificently. Frank. Imbella, Ituga. Yeah, because the efforts are where you just know. Akami could deliver us. And it's straight to Kwame Ba. All right, so what a goal from Frank Ituga. Fabulous finish. Now, 21 goals, just one behind that Ishmael Ado record with two games to spare. You know for sure that Ituga is going for it. He's going for it, isn't he? He's going for it. He's going for it. Let me show you the full results for match week 32 of the Ghana Premier League. So there you go. Keep an eye on these because this is very important. All right. RTU lost at Karela by five goals to one. Okay. The Olympics game, you see it there. Sharks have already been relegated. They lost at home 3 1 to Mediama. 11 Wonders are fighting relegation. All right. They were held at home by Legon Cities. They have a gaming hand. Uh, 11 wonders that is gold stars uh, they are safe relatively why for fighting relegation they came from two goals down to win 4-2 in blistering 20 minutes All right 4-3 that game ended it was 3-3 at some point and then what got the win dreams fc are safe they beat ash gold 1-0 but Chim united they beat Adriana Stars 1 0. They're in no danger at all. In fact, the Chen United at some point were fighting for the title. Lions are safe. They beat Chelsea, who are saved by two goals to nil. Kim Faisal, who are fighting relegation desperately, beat Hearts of Folk uh, today in the late night game. They won that one by one goal to nil. Now look at the table. All right. After this, now there are two games to the end of the season. Elmina Sharks have already been relegated. Okay, now with two games left, that's six points to be taken. With those six points, it does mean that from Dreams FC, okay, all the way down, anyone can be relegated. In fact, from 34 up to 38, so from Kim Faisal, sorry, all the way down, everyone can be relegated from Kim Faisal. So now, Kim Faisal, Dreams FC, RTU, 11 Wonders, and Wafa. Two of them will join Almina Sharks. Now, 11 Wonders have three games left. Those three games, one of them is against Wafa. Okay? RTU have two games left. One of them is against Kim Faisal. So it really is very tricky uh, at the moment uh, on, on who survives and who stays up. Namely, uh, of course, the title is decided. Quick comments on uh, um, Kotoko's win. And then we turn our attention to that relegation battle because it looks yeah, I think, really interesting. I think Kotoko, look, they did so well. Without a doubt, if, the, if care is not taken, there's the tendency of taking your foot off the paddle. But you can clearly see, yes, they are champions elect, but they are still focused yeah. in playing football games. They are still making sure that competitively they are in the mood yeah. and they are not more or less slacking you know, or relaxing, not at all. The game against Great Olympus was a very good game. It was end-to-end, -end, and I think overall the better team won. And credit must be given to the young man from Cameroon. Again, he's shown that he's actually brought something different yeah. to our league. By far, he's the best striker in the league. The goals he's scored, the quality of the goals, some yeah, of his goals. Variety. Variety of them. is absolutely sublime. And for me, um, I hope Kotoko will keep him. But from the sort of things I'm hearing, it would be extremely difficult to keep hold of him. And if you were to take him out of this Kotoko team, they've got no other person like him to go out there, especially in Africa, and try and make a mark. So that is where I'm a bit worried. So keep him. Very yeah, important. It's very, very important. Yeah, but right. come on, I don't know how much money he's on. But from the deals I'm hearing... Coming, the people who are chasing there's him absolutely no, will take a mountain. If Kotoko are going to keep him, then they'll have to pay good money. Yeah. Having said that, before I forgot, because I'm now going to heat up. 
I'm beginning to heat up. No problem. Before I forget, heat up. Yes, let me just say a good evening to a certain beautiful lady and her mother-in-law. Okay. They extend their greetings to you, and they say this is their program. Last week, when I was when I was not here, they personally called me that what uh, went wrong. I told I had some family issues. So yeah. to Mrs. Joanna Hammond and okay. her mother-in-law okay. Evelyn Hammond. The guys are saying we are grateful. So you now just let me stopped talk. in the middle forget. of the... No, I'll forget. I'll forget. You know what? Let me finish. Now I'm there. <laughs> now listen. Talk. You see? Look, thank you. To be honest with you, uh -huh. this is one of the reasons why this league will never get anybody putting his Which money. Which reason is that? Ah, why did King Pfizer and House of Folk play at 6 o'clock today? Why? Ah, evening kickoff. It, it made no sense. Why do you say that? It's not the first time we're playing games at 6 p.m. So elaborate. With three games to go. Okay. If you look at how the relegation fight is shaping up. It's shaping up. Mm -hmm. Why do you allow all the other teams to play at three and then push the Kim Fasa game against Hearts of Oak to 6 p.m.? Because you, we, we are aware that the Wafa result, the RTV results, the 11 Wonders result, they all have a bearing on what King Faisal will have to do. The moment I realized that that game was to be played at 6 p.m., mm. I said King Faisal will win. Because before going into that game, they would have known the results of the other games already. And in, so you're and saying that it gives them an advantage how? Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me you don't understand what I'm saying. No, the I, fact I do. Of the matter I'm is, trying to get you to... The game should have been played simultaneously. Yeah, At the same time, so that King Pfizer, RTU, 11 Wonders, Wafa, they will all be equally aware of what is happening at the but same time. But isn't that what is done at the end of the season? The last game of the season, that will be done. No. At the end of the season, you don't wait till you get to the last game of the season. But that's what they do in England. That's it, what is they do in that it is not true. It is not true. It is true. I'm coming. It is true. In England, when it is this tight, in Spain, when it is this tight, uh -huh. in Italy, when it is this tight, all the games are played simultaneously. Yeah, on For the example, last day. It's what no, I'm saying. no, 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 no. It doesn't happen like that on the last but day. But this season, day. in Italy, the teams that were competing for Europa League, mm -hmm. they played the same time. But on the last there day. There you go. Hold Please. on, no, uh -huh. on the last uh -huh. day. So they played the same time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because the games were played over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Sunday. Uh -huh. But those who were competing for Europe uh -huh. played the same time. Uh -huh. Those who were competing for relegation played the same time. Exactly. Those who were competing for Champions League played the same time. So why so didn't they, you? No, why but didn't, that's the last no. day. The last round. It is not. Look, go back to Italy. Go back to Italy. Three, four games to the end of the season. Where it was that clear that the title was between Milan, the two Milan clubs. Mm -hmm. And the, the relegation battle was between those teams battling. Mm -hmm. None of the teams were given any form of advantage. But even the Milan club, they never played the same time in those last three and matches. I'm and they that, were neck for neck for and, the title. No, and I'm saying that if you have a league that lacks proper credibility, a league... No, you shouldn't give a chance for... You shouldn't give a chance for such a thing to happen. And for me, look, everybody... Mm. Bet way, do they sponsor support this program? They don't. I told my... Go and bet. There's no way House of Folk is winning the game. Ken Faza will win. And you're There's saying no that way. you would not have known that if they played at 3 o'clock. That is what we should have done. Okay. It's well, a common well sense. Common I, sense. I don't... Common sense would have told you that. Okay. If you want to build credibility, if you want to get people to believe in the way you run the, these things, you don't do what, yeah. what we do. So I, I get your point. So even if it is not done elsewhere, we should adapt to our situation. Exactly. Because of our circumstances. Because of our okay. circumstances. I, I, we should I adapt guess, and I, make I guess, sure that I guess that's it, is, it is done in, in a competitive manner. Yeah. For me, look. Look, you knew. He knew. I knew that there's no <laughs> way half of will win the game today <laughs> against I, I didn't Pfizer. know that. Ah, you see, some of these Prophet things here, Nimli, you no, we have to I, save the league. I, it's about doing what? Saving what? The, the league. league. <laughs> save so the what? You, the league. So if you want to save our league, <laughs> that is the sort of measures we right. put Your in point place. is very well made. Your point is very well made. And look, thank you. It is, it, look, as a stance So now, we should consider that, especially in the last two matches, 
for sure. With those two, there should it should be non negotiable. Be, it should be non negotiable. Yeah. Because like that you just all those four clubs, King Pfizer, Eleven Wonders, Dreams, Wafa, Wafa. Dreams, they could those all four. be relegated. Yeah. So let nobody, no team plays ahead of the other. All their games should be simultaneously played. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. In one, the spirit of competition. Uh, yeah, I agree with you on that That's one. Especially with these two matches to go. Ah. Daniel, quick thoughts on, on that before we move on to other things. Yeah, um, I perfectly agree with your coach. Especially what happened in the past uh, month with the Ash Code and entire life matter. It's just, it, it's just down to the organizers of the league to build credibility as coach is saying. It, okay. it must happen. And I don't... Um, when I was looking at the, the fixture lineup for this weekend, it was a bit problematic because even in terms of magnitude, I felt that the Kotoko game, if you're going to put any game at 6 p.m., that the game Kotoko should have gone to 6 p.m. Should uh, go at let 6 the fans enjoy. Exactly, and let the relegation teams battle because that's now the new um, battle in the league. That is what everybody is looking at. Yeah. The title is already decided. Um, but just quickly on, on Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Um, I mentioned earlier in the season, when you have a a team, a talented team that is doing the work on the pitch. You have players who are also self-motivated. If you watched today's game, you could tell that the players know that, yes, the team objective has been fulfilled, but now they are playing for a two guy. He has to get that record. And that's what keeps them going. There's yeah. something to play for in those last two games. And um, just watch out for the last two games because I bet you every single Kotoko player who is on the pitch will be pushing and trying to let him get the, the record. And that is what I like. The fact that there are so many objectives when it comes to championship teams. It's not just about winning the title. Goalkeepers want to win personal awards. Defenders yeah. want personal awards. Strikers want personal awards. So when the, the group objective is, is, is achieved, then people start looking for their individual awards. And then the entire team starts playing for those players who actually have a yeah. chance of winning. And for me, if you look at the Tuga this season, it, it will be very painful if he doesn't break that record because he's been absolutely brilliant. As Coach said, the variety of goals. There were periods this season where People were talking about he only scoring penalties, and it's it's absolutely it's absolute nonsense. Yeah, he's yeah. he's scored every type of goal. Every season. kind. The, the proper striker who deserves the award. If you look at since Ishmaelado, if anybody deserves this award, I honestly feel like it's this guy. He's just been brilliant this season. I agree, one hundred percent. Atuka has been brilliant this season. Uh, the Kotoko coronation is next Sunday. So, you know, Daniel Clanton might have to host the show next Sunday because I will definitely be in Kumasi for that Sunday night party. <laughs> I've seen the medals as well. It's not Moli Moli medals. Correct medals for Kota Coin. They deserve return that. Pure medals gold. from last season. Forecast. The House of Folk will have to return <laughs> that yes. disgraceful and, and embarrassing medal. And that's changed the, for the no, one they're giving. The GFE, in their own sense, when they look at, when they look at that, it's so inferior. Yeah, that was in, but this season, the ones yeah, are really so, nice. it, There's nothing really wrong nice. with recalling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing wrong with it. No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Why don't we the recall issue, the medals back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then issue I mean, a proper What do you mean is that one was that one, even if they are no longer with the team, they should just return it. They should recall and then Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, honestly. It's not a bad idea. But the GFI have done something new that is absolutely phenomenal for me. They, not, they give medals for first, second, third in the league, on the league table. So even those that finish second, those that finish third, can have some medals to show. Take, uh, no, no, hold take, on. I, the and second I'm place medal, they give it to us. I'm, 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 I'm saying, I'm talking about how good that is. Having encountered a few other players who took home those medals last season because they finished third, I believe. Uh, and they were, they were over the moon. So it doesn't matter yeah. what you feel. They were over the moon I that have, they got medals. I have a complete um, 